From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with Scott Wright, OSU beat writer. Scott, NFL Combine in the rearview mirror for A.J. Green, the cornerback who had such a great career at OSU, but he needed to turn in some good times and, and some good numbers at the Combine. He only did one event, and it, w it wasn't great. His 40 time, not, not really good at all on Sunday. No, that was, uh, that was a really disappointing thing for him. He ran a 4.6240, uh, ran slower in his second attempt. That was uh, among the worst uh, out of all the cornerbacks on hand at the Combine. Really frustrating thing for him. You could see his frustration as you're watching on television uh, when he looked up at the scoreboard and saw the numbers that were popping up. So uh, it's a, a, a difficult situation that he put himself in. Uh, you know, in the on-field participation, he did really good in the, the things that they're looking for with hip turn and, uh, and agility and quick feet and things like that. He did good, but he chose not to, or, uh, or whether he decided previously or decided on the day of, to not do any other uh, of the testing drills. He passed on those, the, uh, the cone drills and, and those sorts of things. Uh, he'll have another chance to do those here coming up in, in a few days. But overall, uh, probably a costly day for him at the NFL Combine to run such a slow 40. Even if he had been in the four or five range, it's probably something that guys could live with. Uh, but, uh, but a, a 4.62 is, uh, is a number that pops in the eyes of, uh, of NFL scouts and coaches. Well, and considering there's so much film that's positive of him from this last season and, and even seasons before, and then he had a great senior bowl week, uh, mm -hmm. really impressive. And then, as you say, those on-field drills did a good job. But how much, if there's, if there's film that shows him and, and th there's evidence that he can play that position really well, how much could these measurables really impact him? Are we talking about uh, a one-round drop, multi-round drop? What's your sense of that, Scott? You know, it, it felt like he was a guy that was that was in that uh, late round with maybe some mid-round potential. So now this probably locks him into late round if somebody if somebody feels really strongly about what he can do on the field to possibly falling out of the draft entirely. Um, it's just a a question of what he can do to make up for that. The film is the really interesting thing because you didn't see him getting beat deep by guys a lot. When he does, he usually is in good position and guys make good plays against him. So uh, it wasn't a situation where he was getting outran all the time. It wasn't uh, a thing where teams were trying to attack him by going deep against him. So it's a really odd dynamic to see him run such a slow time and uh, we'll see what he does at Oklahoma State Pro Day if he can maybe make, an, uh, make a correction on that. Maybe he needs to have a wide receiver run next to him for the 40. <laughs> I don't maybe know. That's what he maybe needs. that's it. Um, as you mentioned, OSU does have its pro day next week. It'll be important for A.J. Green to run well and, and do all those other drills well, too. But, Scott, he's not the only guy that will be participating. Who are some guys that could maybe make some, some strong moves or make a, a, a big impression at pro day? You know, one guy that's really interesting is Jordan McRae, the graduate transfer from South Alabama who came in, didn't put up huge numbers, but has the measurables that, that are attractive. He went to one of the, uh, the postseason uh, uh, exhibition games and, and played really well there, caught a lot of attention, uh, had a great game that day uh, in the East-West game. And that's a guy that, as big as he is at 6'6 and uh, about 190 pounds, is somebody who I think will have the attention of some scouts. Uh, you know, he, maybe he doesn't get drafted, but he, I think he'll have a chance to uh, to sign somewhere and, and try to go make a career for himself. And Johnny Wilson is another one I'm very interested to see what kind of times he puts up and uh, things that he does athletically to try to impress because he's got the on-field toughness, the physicality, and uh, and the intelligence being a center to uh, to go and, and be a versatile guy at the next level if he gets that opportunity. and, and Showing up good, well on Pro Day is a, uh, is a big start to that. All right. Pro Day is Tuesday, March 10th up at Stillwater. We'll have coverage leading into and on the day of, so be sure to check us out as we head into that Pro Day important for several Cowboys up in Stillwater. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at Oklahoman.com and every day in the Oklahoman.